In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a clustered bar and line chart of means with one repeated measure. My repeated measure is total competency of employees, and it's been measured at three different time points before they start their job at six months and after one year on the job. For both of these graphs, I've also included error bars and I've chosen 95% confidence intervals for the mean. And this will show me that I can be 95% confident that the true population mean, which I don't know, is between these bounds and it will always be centered on your sample mean. So we have a look at the data. My three repeated measures are all scale variables, and that's important because you cannot compute a mean or a chart of means for ordinal or nominal data in SPSS. So they need to be defined as scale. I'm also going to split that by gender. So I want to look at the average competency of males and females separately. So if we go to the graphs menu and choose chart builder. Now I'm going to do the bar chart first and I want a clustered bar chart so I'm going to choose the second option. Drag it in or double click. Now my repeated measure is going to go along the bottom so I need to select the first one. Down the control key so that you can highlight the other two at the same time. Once all of your repeated measures have been highlighted, click and hold and drag to the Y axis. If you ever forget where you should drag them, if you try dragging it to the X, it will say no. If you try dragging it to the cluster, it also says no. So the Y axis is the only place it could possibly go. Now this message is just telling me that my three variables are going to be my categories along the X axis, which is exactly what I want. So click OK. And now I just need to add gender. So drag gender to your cluster. And anytime I create a chart of means, it's always a good idea to include error bars. So I'm going to tick this option here. And you have three options, a confidence interval for the mean. You can do plus or minus standard errors or plus or minus standard deviations. And I recommend you have a look at your lecture notes or recommended textbooks or even journal articles in your subject to see which is most appropriate for you to use. Go ahead and click apply and your error bar should show in the gallery. Now remember, this is just an image. It's not what your graph really looks like. So don't worry if it doesn't look right. Click OK. Now the height of the bar is showing me the average competency for males and females separately. And again, these error bars are showing me a 95% confidence interval for the mean. Now let's go ahead and repeat this for a line chart of means. Graphs and Chart Builder. Hit Reset and choose Line. We want the second line chart. Drag it into the gallery. Again, I need to highlight all three of my repeated measures. So click on the first one, hold down control, and then click the second and third. Then let go of control. Click, hold, and drag to the Y axis. Click OK. Now take gender and drag it to the set color. And again, because this is a chart of means, I want to include error bars. And I'm going to leave it as a 95% confidence interval for the mean. Click Apply. And then go ahead and click OK. Each point on the line is showing me an average for males, which is blue, and females, which is green, for total competency. Now, if you have two repeated measures, so I've got total competency and say I had another repeated measure. To my knowledge, there's no way to do this when you have two repeated measures. So the only way that you can make that graph is to run a repeated measures ANOVA, a two-way repeated measures ANOVA, and from the plots option, choose to make the graph.